Thanks for stopping by everyone. My name is Jeff and the Dow Jones Industrial Average shed 460 points today guys and that is the equivalent of a 1.77% loss and all three stock indexes sold off very very hard today. Of course the NASDAQ they got hit the hardest they shed about 196 points which came out to about a two and a half percent loss and guys the interesting part is that we're just one day removed from the Fed coming out and saying that they were not going to be raising interest rates in 2019. So you'll talk to one group of people who say that is a very bullish thing. It creates a discount window and it allows investors to continue spending. And then of course you have another group of people that say the Fed not raising interest rates is signaling that the economy is slowing and that the markets are sure to follow. And so there is truth in actually both both of these guys and what we're going to talk about in this video is what it is exactly that triggered this big sell-off you know how should we be preparing and reacting to this and we're also going to talk about the possibility of a recession coming if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future updates and content ring the bell to get all notifications and please drop a like on this video guys I appreciate all the support so early on this morning in pre-market, I noticed that the Dow Jones was pulled back about 100 or 120 points. Then it seemed like it was almost trading its way back to the positive. But then right there at open, it seemed like the indexes just fell off a cliff. And then shortly after, guys, I heard news that the bond market was actually flashing signs of a recession. So when long-term interest rates on bonds fall below short-term rates, it's called a yield curve inversion. It's one of Wall Street's favorite predictors of a recession, and it happened today. So investors normally demand higher yields to buy longer-term bonds, and when those long-term yields decline, it can signal a slowdown in economic growth. We can pause right there. This is really no surprise at all. I've been well aware of the slowdown in earnings growth uh, for about six to nine months now. So really, in my opinion, the stock market actually starts making those early signals and you just kind of see it in earnings. Those companies you're used to seeing beating estimates quarter after quarter and getting raised guidance quarter after quarter, all of a sudden they start to miss or they start to have lowered guidance. And then before you know it, all the companies in their sector group start following suit. So I think it's reading some of this stuff, guys, that makes people so nervous, especially people that are heavily invested into the stock market. But on very rare occasions, long-term yields can actually fall below yields on short-term bonds, thus a yield curve inversion in the parlance of the markets. Such unusual occurrences have preceded every recession over the past 60 years. Now this subject is certainly up for debate. I don't think there is one correct answer here. That's why I encourage you all to go down to the comment section and tell me your opinion. You know, do we have a recession coming soon? And experts on interpreting the predictive power of the yield curve cautioned uh, that one single day of inverted yield curve doesn't necessarily mean the economy will tumble into recession. And like I said, guys, so far it has just been one day. And that is because historically an inversion must last on average three months before it can credibly be said to be sending a clear signal. So like I said, guys, one day is really not enough to consider this a clear signal. However, if three months of this do occur, history shows that the economy will fall into a recession over the next 9 to 18 months. Now I do remember quite a few people commenting here on YouTube and talking to me on Facebook mentioning that we were going to see a, a 40 to 50 percent economic recession and that the markets were going to stay crashed out for a year or two. I know a lot of fellow YouTube creators were putting out videos with very very bearish sentiment and you'd almost walk away from those videos thinking, wow, I should sell all my stocks, get out of the stock market, you know, try to find the bottom somewhere and then get back in. So I tried very, very hard to influence the group of people that watch this channel to not sell, to try to create more passive income streams, perhaps focus more on saving money and building a bigger income and kind of invest slowly uh, during this correction. And if we are gonna be up against a turbulent market again for a short period of time, I encourage you all to do the same, is try to switch gears mentally a little bit. You know, maybe instead of being so overly focused about the stock market, just simply try to figure out ways to make more passive income or more active income, you know, 
If you work a full-time job, you might wanna work more hours. And uh, there's a lot of ideas and I made quite a few videos and I plan to make more soon too, guys. But just keep in mind, any way that we approach this, guys, I'm gonna take the same attitude. You know, my strategy would be to boost your savings by boosting your income and try to invest more slowly and methodically and look for key support levels. So, do we have a recession coming, guys? And my answer to that is no. As of right now, there is no clear signals that there is a recession coming anytime soon. Keep in mind, the yield curve inversion, making a signal for one day is not an accurate enough signal and that we would have to see closer to 90 consecutive days before we could feel historically accurate in predicting a recession and also guys the yield curve can be wrong and it might have signaled nothing except for the fact that the fed shouldn't have raised rates back in december and there is so much money that is run algorithmically that stocks are preordained to come down because the recession pattern post inversion has been so reliable in the past so these sell-offs are going to happen and again i encourage you to try and buy these dips and keep investing in your favorite stocks etfs and index funds anyways guys that's all i got for the video make sure to leave a comment tell me your opinion on this thank you so much for watching the video guys and have a great day